Well, welcome to the Manana Ventures YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. I'm your tutor, Figure Storm. Today we will be doing a question on tripods. Let's get right into it. A tripod has two legs 4.9 meters in length. So we'll just do a rough sketch here. Remember, a tripod has three legs in total. So two of them. So that will be one of them. That will be another one. And each of these legs, 4.9 meters, 4.9 meters. That's the bottom of them. The third leg is 5.5 meters. So we can have a third leg here. Five point five meters. Okay, like that. The legs form an isosceles triangle having a base of three point seven. Now, when they're talking about this base, they're talking about the bottom. Okay, and this three point seven is right there between these two legs. Okay. And sides of 4.3 meters. Okay, and then 4.3 meters from that other leg. To that leg. And then the other one is from this leg. Okay. So this one is a 3.7, remember that's at the bottom, and that's 4.3. Likewise, this other one here is 4.3, that's at the bottom. Okay, now we have to translate that to a, a drawing. But anyway, let's read the question. It says, determine the force in the legs when a load of 40 kilonewtons is suspended from the apex. So at the apex there, there is a load. Of 40 kilonewtons. Okay. Right. That's just a, a picture of what is happening there. So now they want us to know the forces on each of the legs. So what we're going to do is that to calculate this, we're going to have to determine the scales first. We'll start with a linear scale. Our linear scale, we're going to use one centimeter to represent one meter. And then we'll have a four scale, and we're going to use one centimeter to represent 20 kilo newtons. Right now, let's get into the graphical calculation. The first thing we want to start with drawing is this base triangle at the bottom 3.7, 4.9, I mean 4.3, 4.3. Okay, we'll start at the bottom of the page. Okay. And we'll place the 4.3 vertically upwards. Now we're going to start with the 3.7. Just uh, 3.7. Let's round about there. And five, six, seven, just like that. And then we're going to have to bisect it. We'll bring in a calculator. We'll say 3.7 divided by 2 gives us 1.85. So 1.85. 1.5685 is somewhere there. Okay, from there, you just draw bisection line. 
right across like that okay now from there remember the base triangle is 3.7 we just drew that now we need to draw this 4.3 and that 4.3 We'll draw them on the left side. What we'll do, we'll put the uh, uh, the ruler at 4.3 and swing it until it touches the bisection line. Just like that. Okay, so that's our first 4.3. That's our other 4.3. 4.3, 4.3. Can name these one A, B, C. Name those points then. Okay. Now we just drew this for 3.7 line. What we want to draw now is this 4.9. Now the actual legs. The actual legs on the right side, and they are 4.9 in length. So. We put our ruler there, swing until we hit 4.9, bam, do the same at the bottom, bam, and we'll call that point O. Okay, now we're going to have what we call an elevation line. Now an elevation line um, is always at... 1.5 centimeters okay so there was 1.5 and then we draw the line goes right across as well okay oh just to name these ones this was 4.9 that's 4.9 as well okay from there we project every point to the elevation line. We'll start with C. C becomes, when it hits elevation line, it becomes C1. That one is A1, B1. And then the last one is this O. It becomes O1. Okay. Now the next step is to draw an arc. Okay, so what's happening here is that we're converting the elevation line converts from a side, from a top view to a side view and vice versa. So we put on A1, B1, and from O1 we draw an arc. Right. Okay. The next arc we need to draw is this other leg we've just drawn these legs and just to name it this is the point o that's the apex so we need to draw this leg the third leg now which is at 5.5 so what we're going to do we're going to measure 5.5 on our compass just like that okay we're going to put it on c the C represents the other part of the leg. And then draw the arc. Just like that. Where they meet, that becomes our, our O. Okay? So we can join the leg now. From C to O. That's the side view. That leg. 5.5 meters. Okay, uh, these others also meters, just so you're not confused. Okay, and then we can join this leg here. That's the A and B leg. Okay, so if you notice, that's O, O1, and O again. This O is the same as that one. It's just a difference of views. This part is the top view. That's the side view. Okay. So now what we want to do is actually go back to the question. We're done with the actual tripod. 
see a four scale of one centimeters to 20 kilonewtons we need to hang 40 kilonewtons suspended from the apex one is to 20 so we're gonna draw a vertical line from the apex one is to 20 so one centimeter 20 kilonewtons two centimeter 40 kilonewtons so we stop right there that's our 40 kilonewtons next thing we do is to complete the parallelogram how do you complete the parallelogram we put our set square there on one leg and then we put a ruler at the at the back and then just slide slide it until it hits the bottom of the apex of the force and then we draw it do the same this side put the set square on that leg okay put the ruler there and then slide until you hit the bottom of there and then you just draw it next part is just to name them that's m and that's n okay we're gonna need our compass once again we put it back on a1 b1 and then put it on n Okay, we draw our arc. Just like that. It hits the elevation line. Once it hits the elevation line, everything on an elevation line is a, is, a, is a one. So that becomes an N one. Okay, from there, draw a vertical line from N one. To the bisection line now that's our point n okay difference in views do the same thing again we'll start with this leg we need to slide it put our ruler there okay slide it until it hits n and then draw the force distribution next leg is that leg we can put our ruler at the back there uh -huh. and then we'll slide it absolutely so that becomes our t and that becomes our s okay we are done with our drawing now let's do this OM, OM, let's write it down. OM is the force on leg OC. Okay, so we need to measure what OM is. Take our ruler, measure OM. OM is about 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Now, remember our scale is 1 is to 20. This is 0 0.5 centimeters. So we need to multiply it by 20. We need to multiply by 20 in order to convert it to the real force. It becomes 10 kilonewtons. Okay, back here now. OT is the force on OB, leg OB. Let's write that down. OT is the force on leg OB. Okay, we need to measure it. When we measure it, it measures about 0 0.9. 0 0.9 0 0.9 times 20 to convert it becomes 18 kilometers same here OS is the force on leg OA okay 
so we write that down OS is the force on leg OA and it as well is 0 0.9 centimeters times 20 conversion from the skin final answer is 18 kilometers now that completes the question asked and answered thank you very much